Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thanks for joining me today, October 22nd, 2024. We're going to be doing number 19 of the 12 by 12s, and then we have one more, and I will have achieved my goal of 20 12 by 12 series. So, um, First, the usual uh, thank yous to Sergeen, Sergeen, Christina, Arlene, Diane, Teresa, Darla, Manuela, Sherry, Carol, Susan, JW Girl, Bev, and Rosemary. Thank you so much for your orders, and um, I hope you enjoy your papers. And uh, I think it was. Sherry, I hope you um, got your printing, got your items printed out and are happy with them. So today is another interactive one page wonder and it's from Pink Strawberries and this time I didn't change a thing. So I'm going to give credit to her for my 19th little 12 by 12 and uh, first new products Christmas treasures paper collection uh, uses background pages or cut aparts and it goes with the journal kit and it has some more included, uh, five pages similar to this. So lots of fun little things to cut apart for Christmas. And then uh, yesterday, I spent the day making little charms. And I have another one to cut apart here from, uh, I used patchwork. And I just love them. So I wanted to show you these. They're all glittery. I bought some uh, fine glitter. What is it? I'm not sure if it, no, extreme glitter. Extreme glitter in silver. Because I thought maybe I might be happier with that. So um, I spent the day playing around with that. And I made these little charms. And I'm still perfecting them. And I used um, some diamond dust. And I just, let me get one with a flower here. Some of them have diamond dust. And I just love them. And I took some little um, book page corners and a rivet. I know you're not going to see the sparkle from the diamond dust. I know you're not going to see that, but um, there's the back. And these are the ones with the extreme glitter. So I just took that paper and I thought um, if I do it on the back and the front, no matter which way it cuts, I'm probably going to end up with an image I like. And you get 24 charms out of one 6x6 six six package covered paper. And they are one by one and a half. So that's how I spent the day yesterday. But I want to um, do some different ones that are more 
a little more boho and come up with a um, hang way to hang them and things like that before I before that goes prime time but it was a lot of fun and I felt like I needed something to fill up my new containers so that's what I did yesterday and I used patchwork and uh, I figured back or front I'm probably going to come up with something that I like so okay all that being said let's get to our project um here it is and it's interactive so you have a little little pocket in the front little pocket in the front and then you have this cute little flip and then another pocket in the back and you could put some tags on there a little envelope some pockets and you could do the same with this if you wanted to so it has a lot of possibilities that's why I chose it I thought it was very cute and interactive wondering no these cards won't fit in there so I just used some of the cut aparts to tuck in there to show you what it's like and the other cool thing you can do this with, with uh, 4x12s and you'll get um, three from two sheets of paper but today you're going to need a 12 by 12 cut at 6 and since my paper is this side of it is directional and this side isn't I'm going to uh, make sure you cut it the right way so that your directional is going the way it's supposed to but it's pretty easy and uh, it's a cute little book and again, I do not decorate these like she does. I'm going to enclose her link so that you can see what she adds to them. I keep all mine, and then when I'm ready to um, use them, I'll decorate them at that point. So, okay. Let's take one of our 6 by 12s So you'll need your scoreboard, some glue, a paper punch for your notch, and that's about it. So we're going to put this, and both scores are the same, so if you want to bulk mass, make this in bulk for Christmas. Um, would be cute. You can stick a little set of tags in there. Another tag. Um, some photos in there because you have two little pockets. Yeah. You could do all kinds of stuff with this for Christmas. So, okay, put your paper on the 12 inch side and we're going to score at one and a half. Whoops. One and a half. Five and a half. And nine and a half. And both pages are scored the same. So I'm going to score my second one here and then I'll figure out which one I want on the front and which one I think actually I flipped one because I wanted them to be different. One and a half. 
five and a half. Whoops, what happens here today? A nine and a half. Now I'm scared it's going to be one of those weeks. Okay, so let me get these folded. And then this one comes in. And your last one goes back. Okay, like so. That's a pocket. This one comes in. Last one goes back. So I just want to see here. I think I, I'm going to put this on the cover this time. So I really don't want those to be the same though. So, okay. I wish I would have done that opposite because I want those to be different. Okay, that's how it's going to have to be. I think. Actually, yeah, I can do that because that gets glued there and then I will have that on my cover. I think I want that this time. Okay, so after you get it, after you do it, you figure out which way you want it as well. But I did them opposite. You can't do them the same, of course. So first, let's glue our first pocket to get that out of the way. Okay. Um, glue. So we're just going to glue this. I'm really scared it's going to be one of those weeks. All kinds of stuff has been happening. I spilled my coffee when I came down here. <laughs> Just going to clip that. Okay. So there's our first page. <clears throat> now I'm going to make this a pocket. And that's one, two, three. I'm going to call it your third flap. So I'm going to put a notch there and I put mine over to the side. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And then our little other pocket is going to be glued to our third flap here. So that gets glued on three sides. And last time mine slid and pulled off a little paper so I had to make a repair. I'll show you that in a minute.
So you're going to want to go around three sides of this one. Line it up. Whoops, don't do that. Then attach it to the other one. <clears throat> so you could avoid making this a pocket and keep this another flip if you want. But I am just going to do a backward L here. This paper is pretty. This is Regency Design Cuts with a View. And the only thing I don't like about this, this size, is you cannot fit a photo in without trimming them. And I do have a fall journal to make as soon as I get my photos developed. So I'll be making the travel folio. I forget what number that is, but so there we go. I hope I did that right. Yeah, okay. There's our little pocket. And actually, those should be perfectly even. So I'm going to have to rescore that a little bit. Because you don't want that. You really don't want that overlapping. Get it evened up there. If you want to put a notch in those pockets, you can. Okay. Let me just refold that so those are just touching. So there we go. And that is not even. Okay. Yeah, make sure your pocket is lined up even with your back there. That's a little off, but you really can't tell. And this one actually folds flatter. And that's what I wanted on the cover. Oh, that's cute. So there's a pocket. There's our first interactive little flap. And that's why I wanted those different to show some interests. And I want to tell you if you want to close this, I would put something. Let me get this one. I would put something with weight on there. See that one's <laughs> like that. I would either do something like that, put a circle to keep that closed, or just put something with weight, like a, an envelope, a couple of tags. She just had a little embellishment, but it if you don't do something, it's going to keep popping open if that bothers you. But remember, you're going to want it very just to tuck under there a tiny bit because you still have to lift it to open it. And I kind of grabbed the wrong type of circle here. That one's pretty bulky. Let's see if I have a thinner one. Just something very thin. And there you go. That'll stay closed, but you can still open it. Do you understand what I'm saying there? 
because I, I do not decorate these until I'm ready to use them. Okay, so there's my little boo-boo. <laughs> my pocket slid and I just took my metallic copper pen and covered it up. So there we go. There are two new interactive one page wonders. Oh, they go beautiful together. I love that paper. So, okay, everyone, that's 22 minutes, and um, I don't know what else to say except again, a photo won't fit in. You're going to have to trim it if you want a photo. A four by six photo because it's the exact same size and okay you can make these uh, four by twelve and the um, scores are the same so out of two sheets of, of 12 by 12 you will get three and that would be really cute because it would be pretty much like a little square that would be super cute to be handing out at Christmas. Put some little gift card in there, a little card, some tags. Very cute. So, okay, everyone, that's number 19, and um, I'm going to work on those charms. See what we can come up with. Not sure what I'm doing Thursday, but I hope you'll join me for whatever it is. You have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, it's me again. I'm back. <laughs> um, I forgot to show you that the, if you do it the way I did, the back and the front comes out differently. And that was something else I liked about it. So, okay. I forgot that and I think that's a nice little feature of it. Very cute little interactive one page wonder. Thanks again everyone. Bye.